Hey guys, got a new bike here. It's a custom e-bike on, on a new bike. It's a new bike that it just got released and it's a new bike that it's actually a new bike. It's like meta new. So many layers, it's like inception with how new this bike is. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I custom make e-bikes, make bikes into e-bikes. So I take an existing bike, good bike, turned it into an awesome e-bike. And you can do it yourself too. So yeah, if you like this video, check out my other videos. Okay, so this is the Mongoose Dolomite. ALX. This is the new and improved Dolomite. You guys have seen my, like, I've done a few Dolomites before. This is the new one. This is the aluminum frame. And this is a big improvement over the previous Dolomite. I was waiting to get one of these in, and I'm really glad that somebody finally did. And I got to get my hands on one. And yeah, it's, it's a much lighter bike. I mean, obviously now that we've motorized it, it's a little bit heavier. It's really good quality. They've really bumped this up quite a bit. It's, it's an aluminum frame. It used to be steel, but just... I think just head to toe, it's just a way better bike. You can see this is not a standard one. The customer, we put a new uh, handlebar in this one, so it's got the nice comfy handbars on this one. It comes out and around to you. So this is a super comfy ride. He put the Cloud9 seat on this, so it's really comfortable. Aftermarket hand grip. But yeah, this is a, it's, a, it's a nice bike. This is a good, if you're looking for a cheap, fat bike, this is a good one. They've really upped it. So if you could get your get your hands on one of these for a good price, not a bad bike. I definitely I wouldn't use this for like off-roading or anything or taking it, you know, on trails. Light trails I would, but this is not for like a mountain biking fat bike. This is for like campgrounds, cruising around the neighborhood, maybe even doing some commuting and light trails. Okay, so let's go right into this. Since this is a fat bike, it's got a 120 millimeter bottom bracket. So we had to put a 120 millimeter BBS HD motor on it. It fits on perfectly. I didn't need to put any spacers on it. This was a great donor bike. This is a small frame. So you can see we had to put a 52 volt 14 amp hour, the slim profile battery on here. and it just barely fits, but it's like perfectly fits. You could still slide this in and out, so it's awesome. Went with a 500C display here, mounted it right up here, and the cable length on this was like perfect. So there's no big bundle under there. You know, normally you got that extra wad of cabling. Now with this one, there was just like a little bit of extra cabling. So it looks really neat and clean under there too, which is awesome. This bike's got mechanical disc brake, cable actuated, if you're in Southern Hemisphere. Put a gear shift sensor on it, because this is a mid-drive, that just acts like an automatic clutch. Just disengages the, the motor for a brief minute while it switches, so you're not putting all that strain on your chain. Got a little bell there. Yeah, all right, let's go do a Johnny Nerdout test, see how this bad boy performs. Okay, so you can see, did not like the hill climb that well. This did, barely made it up it. I think it's because of the gear ratio. This is a 46 tooth. So if you were to gear down, if you were to put like a 42 tooth or a 36 tooth, this would be a way better climber. And also you could upgrade the granny gear here, your low gear, you could put a bigger one here. You just change that gear ratio and you totally fine tunes this, this motor system. You could either make it better for high speed or better for climbing. Uh, you can see the top speed on this thing was 38 miles an hour. It was kind of windy. There was kind of some gusts there and the wind was at my back. So I think that's what really got this thing up to 38 because that's insane for a fat bike. I mean, it's a lightweight fat bike. So <laughs> be careful on this thing. Overall, really happy with this bike, really happy with this build. I'm really impressed with how they stepped up their game on this design. They really, Mongoose really, I don't know if they got new ownership or what, but this is a good, good fat bike. Obviously it's not a like, you know, top of the line fat bike, but for an entry level fat bike, this is awesome way better than the previous model. Hopefully this helped you out guys. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, leave your comments below and I'll see you next time.